Blame Fam. Hey, Blame Fam. Welcome, Welcome back, back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Jacqueline. This is her channel. This is this David. This is David. <laughs> we like each other. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> um, no, all the time. All you're the time. cute. Anyway, hi. What's up? Um, yeah, if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. As he said, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. It's his car. And we're in his car because we're going plant shopping. Yay! Mm. I know you guys love it when he comes along. So yeah. I love it when you come along, too. Yeah, I'm all right with it's it. It's nice. It's a really nice day. We're going to go pick up some smoothies from Robex because they just turned him onto Robex. And now it's now all he I knows have, why. Ever. Yeah. I love Robex. So, but they only have them in Connecticut. I've never seen them in New York. No, so, they have one five minutes away. I'm all right with it. <laughs> we're going to go do that. And then we're actually heading over to Dietrich. We haven't been there in like months, months and months and Hot months. minute. Probably since like sometime in like last year before it got cold out. Like I, I, I don't, genuinely don't even remember. I think it was last summer. Maybe. Because we, we were there the fall before where we got a pumpkin. Right. And then we didn't go back until I think summer. Well. So it's been a while. We're going to go see. see what they have. Maybe because they have we're plans. running out of <laughs> running out of places to go <laughs> and take you guys without repeating too much. Yeah. So, again, if you have any suggestions, if you are in central Connecticut, I am willing to drive. If there's anywhere good that you suggest, I know I'm, I need to go to Logies. I know there's Jordan's Jungle in Rhode Island. Those are on my list. I promise you. I don't know why I'm, <laughs> I'm Italian, okay? So let's go, let's go do the things, okay? Yeah, I'm not smoothie. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's really been a long time since I've been here. Oh, those are giant e forbs. Yeah, yeah, we'll make our way over there. They keep the house plants in the back here, so. And check those out. It doesn't look like they have a ton, but that's okay. There's some oxalis that your oh, your mom liked. I'm surprised they still have some. Oh, Emma's some um, ficus. Do you like the way that looks when the ficus just has like all the bare? Yeah. I'm alright with those. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't need. I'm bushes. always. I always hate when mine drop their lower leaves. I mean, Cute begonias. These are like the more flowering ones that people tend to keep outside. This one's cool though. Look at this one. This one has cool leaves. I only have a couple begonias that are still alive. These anthuriums are huge. Look, they have the black ones, babe. I love this one because the leaves come in really dark. I think this anthurium is so underrated. I cut those flowers off, but I kind of like the dark ones. Yeah, I don't like the red ones. That's so pretty. I want it. Mm, I don't have any money. This is gorgeous. I think they're so underrated. Look at that leaf. So pretty. Hydrangeas. They were in <laughs> they were in Lowe's in my last video and I was like, not hydrangeas. Yes. Hydrangeas? Hydrangea. Hydrangea. I don't know. No, I mean, hydrangeas are see, like, I said level. gardenias and I was like, yeah, no, I meant Yeah. I love ficus. There's a really nice aglionema There's over really here. Nice, uh, <laughs> Some sensitive plants. <laughs> Mimosa. Um, they have the Syngonium Wendlandii. I don't think they're they're still pricing them. But this is a nice mature one. Um, Burl Marks Variegated, which I like never see. 176. I just never see them. Wow, they have a lot of really nice stuff. Okay, okay. Some piper, look at how big this piper is. 50 bucks, it's massive. Um, yeah, they have tons of pink princess. 
Um, 142 is way too much, even for a high color. I wouldn't really call that high color either. Hopefully these low color ones are 20 bucks. No, still 142. That's fine. We're not gonna buy those. We have a white, which one has the red stems? White Knight for 140, also like way too much. But we kind of knew that coming here. They have the red stems, the White Knight. The White Wizard has like green. I like the wizard. The wizard's my favorite. They have Pariso Verde for 148. What plant is on my head right now? Oh, <laughs> for Premnum Fanatum. That's good. Um, the hanging baskets. We've seen the same ones at Paul's and Sandy's. Uh, I don't know how much these are, but probably more than those ones. That is a massive air plant. Did I get plant in my hair? You did. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, huge. What is this? A Xerographica? Because there's another one that looks similar, but... Oh yeah, it's in bloom. This is how you know it's a bromeliad. Right. Raphidophora up here for 45 to Cursiva. Um, I saw some Monstera Dubia. This one is out of control. My thing about Dubia that I don't like though is as the leaves mature, they lose their silver. Mm. So I actually like the immature leaves better, the way it wraps around here, because it's a shingling plant. I actually recommend putting it on a, a flat piece of wood so that the leaves can just kind of like flatten out. 105 for that I don't think is terrible, just because it is so big. Pretty. Billy Atia. Some people say Billy Thai. It's my favorite. I love Billy. I like the orange. Yeah. I got a bunch of them for like 30 bucks. Oh, wow. Well, this one's a lot more than that. Probably. 115. Yeah. They're coming way down in price, though. Um, I'm seeing them pop up from... Uh, I don't know. Emma's? Did Emma's have them, maybe? Okay. Some cute little Standeliana elbows for 41 Okay, yeah, these are from Emma's. Some decent variegation on those. These ones look like silver stripe for 28. Really nice full plant of that. Really pretty. And there's a bunch of them. Little um, Thai cons for 99. Not a bad price for a little baby tissue culture baby. They just don't have a ton of variegation. You found something? You go, you know. Peperomia and Kana. Yeah, they're 13 bucks. Oh, cute. Yeah, it's not bad. They're hard to find. They don't always have them. So, if you see one and you want one, I definitely recommend snagging it. These are nice. Okay. Philodendron Glorious for 40 bucks. That's not bad either. That's actually, I want it. I don't need it, but I want it. So there's that. And they have a bunch of them, but these Melanocrysum, you guys, are gorgeous. Look at this leaf. It's huge. Love that. Okay, we got another Dubia. And lots more Pink Princess. And bigger ones here for 142 definitely too much for that plant. This one is massive and has some really gorgeous variegation. Look at this. That's a beautiful leaf. This is why I love Pink Princess. For leaves like this, not this. This is a muddy, terrible mess. Nobody likes this. This is terrible. Let's keep it real. This is why people buy a Pink Princess. This is why people want Pink Princess, not this. <laughs> right? Isn't this like disgusting? <laughs> I mean, that's it's like muddy and like a not a cute color, but then you get this. This is why people are obsessed with Pink Princess and why people will always be obsessed with Pink Princess because how many plants look like this with like just true pink. The pink fades over time for sure, but if you keep giving it highlight, you'll get really dark green 
and really bright pink. Absolutely stunning. I used to hate that plant and now it's one of my favorites, so. Okay, we've got some more cute little babes hanging out over here. We've got some, uh, looks like Prince of Orange maybe? No, Macaulay's Finale, so one of those. Philodendron Aerobescens, Maranta, some Neon Pothos. This is the Prince of Orange. Really cute. One of my favorites. I think I left mine with my mom. Some Purple Passion and some little baby Monstera Deliciosas. There's some bigger ones. Over here, they've got lots of little variegated, what in the heck, and Bob, is that? Is that? That's a begonia. <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can see like the... Yeah, it's a Rex begonia. Yeah. Like, what the hell is... I don't know, it's cool though. It's a weird leaf. Yeah, oh, they have tons of little begonias over there. Oh, so much, I'm overwhelmed, okay. It's fine. They have some cute Syngonium erythrophyllum. Erythrophyllum. Yeah. I can never remember if it's phylum or stemma. Erythro something. Erythritol. No. No. Um, is this a Hoya? Oh. Ooh, Hoya calcina. I've seen these uh, before. It's a, probably a good thing there's no price on it because I don't have any money. It's cute. Little string of turts over here. Um, and then we have our peperomia. Lots of peperomia. You've got your caparatas. You've got your obtusifolias. The incana, which is the fuzzy one, which you guys know is our favorite. Some Pudiolata, which is another one that I really like for 10 bucks. It's a great price for one of these. They grow parallel. They're called parallel peperomia. They grow upright and they're just really hardy. Very, very easy going plant because the leaves are so thick. Um, some Pilea. I think this is a lipstick plant, if I'm not mistaken. It's a cute little leaves. And um, some decursiva here. And then this peperomia, the, the beans. It looks like string beans. <laughs> this one's more succulent like. So you have tons and tons of variety with peperomia. You have these more hardy ones, you have the um, softer leaf ones, more succulenty ones and then you have just like straight up succulents. So Peperomia is a very vast genus. This is the Piccolo Banda, $17 for those. The Caparata here with the red, I can't remember the name of, but it's really pretty. These Ruby Ficus are gorgeous. One of my personal favorites, they're only $18. Oh, he's not listening. Cute. I haven't found like the one yet. You know, when you see it and you're just like, oh my goodness. That's adorable. Some more Rex begonias. Um, one of my favorites. I don't know the name of it. I just think the pink is really pretty. You don't get true pink like that on very many plants. Um, okay, what's behind me? Besides you, hi. Hi. You're cute. That is 57. Okay. Thank you. 27 for these hanging baskets of Syndapsis Splash. Not bad. This huge Monstera Deliciosa. I kind of like them when they don't fenestrate. That's nice. We've got a Pearls and Jade Pothos or Enjoy 19. I thought the ones with the spots were Pearls and Jade. Pearls and Joy. Pearls and Joy. David calls it Pearls and Joy because we still don't know the difference <laughs> between the two. Okay, this is the one I always tell you about that they changed it from Philodendron to Thematophyllum. They changed a bunch of Philodendron over to Thematophyllum. That's a Monstera siltipicana. Right. One of my least favorite plants ever, yeah. even though it's gorgeous. It's, really it's just a pain in the neck yeah. to grow. So... They do have the little mic ends. Hopefully I didn't skip over anything because I'm feeling like, you know, overwhelmed by all the cute plants. 
15 for that. We have some philodendron brandy for 15. Oh my gosh, I paid like $40 back in the day for like little cuttings of this and it still hated me, but it's gorgeous. It just, it hates, it hates everybody, I'm pretty sure. It just grows really stupid. But if you can get it growing up a pole with just the right environment, it's really beautiful. How much were the Silta Pecanas? 15 bucks for those. When I had a big one, this was probably like my most requested plant. I sold cuttings of that thing like crazy and then it got thrips and it died, so. Uh, lemon Lime Maranta, one of my favorites, 16. I was really excited that um, we, David had family visiting and they really loved this plant so I gave them some cuttings that hopefully will thrive because this is one of my favorites too and I just get excited when other people get excited about plants. <laughs> so some regular Maranta, the rabbit's foot one, I'm still looking for a variegated one and then I don't know, I think this is Pilea, something teeny tiny. Some Calatheas hanging out over here. Makoyana. I want to get one of these little ones eventually, the rattlesnake. 11. Yeah, they're supposed to be easy. I think the variegation on them is really cool. And it's consistent. It's the same on every leaf, which is really fascinating to me about these plants. That's a Monstera Standiliana albo. Mm. It's just getting a little too much sun. Yeah. So the leaves. This thing grows so stupid. <laughs> It grows like a weed. There's one over here that's all. Yeah, and it just throws out runners. Like, whoa, these variegated whale fins are huge. 75, 74. That's actually not bad for the size. Mine are little babies, but mine also have like more white variegation than yellow. Yeah, that's the giant whale fin. I've got that one too. Love that. How much is that one? $100. I don't know, I paid 20 bucks for mine. <laughs> that's why I bought it, and that's why I want to go back to that spot in Massachusetts. Mm. Because I got a giant whale fin for $20. And they always have a good selection, and a, it's huge. Gardener Supply, you guys remember going there. We went there with Liz a while back. 18 for the, um, I forget what type of snake plant, black something, black gold. That one's cool. Cylindrica. Tons of Tradescantia, Nanook, and other types on this table that I will not even bother with. We have some ferns back here. Um, I think this is the white aspen Dracaena that we've been seeing from Costa Farms. I think it's really pretty. I might have to get one next time I see one. Hopefully we see them again. They have them at the Lowe's. Uh, no, the Home Depot in Manchester. 15 for these cute little Alocasia caladium plants that nobody knows what they are. These little ferns are so cute, aren't they? This is why I want to get a taller enclosure for Norman so that I can put some ferns because don't they, they just look so like prehistoric. You know what I mean? Like it suits his vibe. Okay, over here we have the, they call this one escargot. I can see. <laughs> it's really cool. It's it's the way the like leaves fractal. like yeah, swirl in on themselves like that. 15 for those. Lots more anthuriums. And then we've got this cute little begonia table over here. Look at how cute it is. This is one of my favorites. This is the Sinbad. Look at the cute little pink flowers. Isn't it adorable? I so had cute. this one and it died. Oh my god, so cute. Unfortunately, Begonia Maculata. I don't have this one anymore either, but this one is what made me love angel wing begonias because it's just so pretty. Yeah, it's a Rex begonia though, so like, I mean, it's got a cool pattern. They should call it Baba O'Reilly. Cute. Um, and then I also had this one and I killed it eventually. It just has really cool leaves. It's got like spikes on the leaves. This is the one you were showing me. 
It kind of looks like a piece of meat. It's weird. It has the juice. Oh god. Oh, this one's cute too. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's interesting. What are you? Hem Liana. It's cute. Yeah, they are really weird. Um, let's go see. Okay. We got the Hoyas over here. Oh man, they've got quite a few too. They've got some like just regular car. Oh my gosh, look at this. Pubic Helix Splash is so splashy and it's getting bright light so it turned pink. Super underrated, you guys. Super underrated. Um, I think that's an Opal Vada hanging over there too. Look at these caudatas though. These huge hanging baskets. Do you see a price? 110, massive. Look at these leaves. They're huge. Okay, and then we have some um, Ruby Cascade Peperomias. They've got the Lacunosa as well that we've been seeing pop up for 40 bucks. Not a bad price for that one. Cute little splashy leaves. Um, and then there's just some succulents and stuff hanging out on the table here. I like aeoniums though, they're cool. I like the jade plants when they get really yeah. thick like that too. They've got some sedum burrows tail. Um, I don't know what these are. Oh, they have the, whatever this is called, silver dollar. Yeah, there's like seven different names for it, and I, I don't know how to say the hmm. the botanical name. It's like zero sisiosis. I don't know. Yeah, I tried. It's fine. Um, we've got some obovada that's definitely getting way too much sun, but it's got tons of new growth on it, and a peduncle. Can you put your hand behind that so I can focus on it? You're such a good assistant. Usually I don't have enough hands. You see that cute little peduncle? gonna bloom so oh it is blooming oh we do it again look at it little bloom look at those little beans <laughs> cute so I mean it I would buy it just for the fact that it's gonna bloom it's gonna grow new leaves that aren't sun bleached oh this one too look it's blooming yes it's the season of Hoya blooms oh my goodness there's so many on this plant. Oh man, I want it just for all these blooms. Look at these. I just did a Hoya bloom video showing off mine. These are about to pop. I've never had, okay, focus. I've never had my Obuvada bloom. That's so cute. Thank you for helping. You're, so, you're such a good assistant. Usually I struggle because I only have two hands. The amount of plants I've accidentally dropped on the floor was trying to show how cute they are. I know they have these variegated ones. I like this one, babe. It's $100. Remember they had baby ones? Yeah. And I wanted it. I know, this is a cool, this is a cool ass euphorbia. It's so tall, how tall do you think it is? Just stand, stand up on there. <laughs> um, these are really cool though, because it looks like the chocolate drop. Yeah, no, I like it. Without the... It kind of looks a little bit like... Yeah, it's really cool. I like you, old man cactus. Look, babe. It's an old man, just like you. <laughs> I like these. The rat tail. 47. Yeah, they're not as bad though. Like, they're cool. They look cool. Who doesn't like a hanging cactus? Um, and then that's really it. Yeah, aren't those the Madagascar palm or something? That's everything. Yeah. 
I'm gonna take another loop around, make sure we didn't miss anything though. Skipped over these, look at how massive they are. Jade satin hanging baskets for $30. They're getting a little bit too much sun in here. They need like a like shade cloth or something. But they're huge. Oh god, I can't even lift that up. Look how heavy chunky. that is. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of plants. Look at how chunky it is. I know, it's, it's a jade. Yeah, I like it. It is cute when you chop it like that. Succulents are so cool. I don't know why more people aren't into succulents. Um, and then just some African violets and orchids, making sure we didn't skip over anything. But there's lots of plants to choose from. If you guys are in the area, we're in Cheshire, 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 Cheshire uh, Connecticut. So there's that. It is. It's a very easy drive from Hartford. Okay, fam. So that was Dietrich Gardens of Cheshire. That's what the sign says of Cheshire, not in Cheshire, of Cheshire. So yeah, they had some really cute stuff. I'm definitely not mad about it. Some of the prices were a little bit too high, but also we've seen some stuff here today that we haven't seen anywhere else. Yeah. So if you're looking for these plants and you're okay with those prices, then uh, come on and get them. If you're tired of just spider plants at Home Depot. Yeah, they're nice to look at too. Yeah, it's nice just, to like, just come to a place like this, yeah different stuff so I'm definitely not mad about it they always have cute stuff so that's it right that's yeah. it for this video <laughs> he was really into that begonia that kind of looks like a piece of meat I, it was weird it looks like a piece of deli meat. it was like so weird that's kind of yeah. why I liked it that's why begonias are cool and the weirder the plant the better so if you enjoyed hanging out with us today you should give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant bam get yourself some perky, perky perks, perks. <laughs> i like that it turned it into a song um if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me Everything is appreciated. You guys know I can't do this without you. I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.